Jack Rice, uh, former CIA officer, uh, also with us tonight. The sharing of information. Jack, I thought we rearranged government after the September 11, 2001 attack on the Twin Towers in, in uh, Manhattan in this country because there wasn't enough information sharing, so we had to rearrange government and come up with the Department of Homeland Security and all this great oversight. Lo and behold, look what we've got on our hands. How tough is it for the CIA to do information sharing with other agencies on a need-to-know basis? Well, see, that's exactly the problem. What we continue to do is to have this sort of Cold War concept of need to know, whereas what we need now is the ability to be able to share that information. I mean, if we think about this particular case, this guy, I mean, what we know now, of course, is he paid cash. Guess what? There's a hint. He buys his ticket in Ghana. How about that one? There's a hint. He only comes on with his carry-on bag. There's a hint. His father says there's a problem. There's the visa. There, the list goes on and on. There are so many specific instances of intelligence that that are simply not shared, not established, not determined, that it makes me wonder how we can do just about anything. The level of incompetence here is pretty extraordinary. Well, how about Great Britain? Great Britain uh, denied him entry into the country. And you would think that the Brits, which is uh, historically has been probably about our best allies since the country started, that we, we'd be able to share some information there with, with the Brits. Uh, yeah, you would think so. How, how, I mean, this, by the way, how did, go ahead. No, by the way, I mean, that was part of this, too. If you think about the Brits who actually refused the visa, they actually let U.S. intelligence know that. So they had this information, too. It's just the inability to sort of connect all of this. I mean, what we're seeing right now is a shocking overreaction across the country. What? I can't put a blanket on if I need to go to the bathroom. I better do it within the last hour. I better not have any carry-ons. All of those things. If you think about what we already have in place, what actually exists, if we simply sat down and said, all right, what do we have what did we know we could have stopped this uh, when, when he was in Nigeria we could have stopped this in Amsterdam before he's flying over Detroit I mean it's amazing